spend, there is an internet connectivity. The internet device will really help you to access the information or create the information. To create information, you need some software in that smart TV. It's all inbuilt. Already some inbuilt softwares are there in the smart TV. Maybe when the program is running with the remote, you can record the video, whatever is running in the program. So that allows you to record. Sometimes it, it also need to allow you to share the information. So as an information technology, you should be able to create, you should be able to store it, you should be able to retrieve it, manipulate it. Then also as part of communication technology, you should be able to send and receive. Then only we can call anything as a ICT. Somebody has written PowerPoint presentation as an example of ICT. So PowerPoint presentation has the scope of becoming ICT. It is a digital technology which can be used for as the information technology as well as for communication. But many times we are not using that as a communication piece. What we do, we only create PowerPoint and we keep talking what is written in PowerPoint. So why I'm trying to tell this is when you are all going to create digital content, uh, I, have went, I have stopped my PPT. I'll be showing it again when I start wanted to show some image. So uh, when, when we wanted to de develop digital content, we need to first decide what we wanted to use and what we wanted to tell, whether we want to integrate technology or whether we wanted to integrate ICT. When you are going to tell, I'm going to integrate ICT, then there is a need for compulsory for an internet. When you say I'm going to uh, integrate technology, digital technology, maybe a simple recorded video because you are learning a lot of things in this development of digital content. So some of it, can, has a scope of ICT, some of it is just a digital technology. So there are, like for example, you're going to record a video of your own. You don't have internet connection if you have recorded in your mobile, just you are copying and then you are using it directly or you're playing from the TV and just playing in the TV, then you are using digital technology, but not ICT. So this is just, we need to have an understanding when we are going to talk about it. But how do you choose any technology to be used in your classroom for teaching, learning, or assessment? So there are certain criteria which we need to think about. Okay, bilingual. Madam, I am not really a person of Hindi. Whatever I can speak in Hindi, I'll be bilingual, okay? So when we say very specifically, what is ICT? We tell that ICT, this is the universal definition ICT can be used any device, any software, or a combination, nor a process, anything could be there. That, but it should be able to do this the six activities. It should help you to create digital information, store digital information, retrieve, manipulate, send, and receive digital information. One of you have written in the chat box that the ebook is a digital, uh, ebook can be an example of ICT. A PDF is also called as ebook. A EPUB is also called as ebook. So if you see a PDF, can a PDF document be called as ICT? Just creating a PDF document is not an ICT. Just creating a PDF document, it is only a digital content. Okay? So whatever you are creating, whatever you are learning to create during this particular session, when you create and save it in your system, you have created a digital content, but not using it for information and communication technology as part of that. You have created an information-based content, whatever your content you are creating and storing in your system. But if you want to make it a full-fledged ICT resource, then your content should be uploaded or shared through a platform where somebody will be able to receive and then give feedback. So whenever you are preparing an ebook, also, like just preparing a PDF is not enough. Maybe you may need to add all your digital content in the digital platform. For example, in Diksha, 
or in your YouTube or in your Google Drive. So somewhere you should upload your content and then try to share it digitally. If you put it even in your drive, you can share it to somebody who can give you feedback, who can give you uh, ideas, who can use that one. So in that case, you are also doing sending and receive. So the ultimate thing is when you are going to develop digital content, you are only doing this first four parts. The practice which you are doing during this program is only this four, but you need to extend it. And when you are creating your content, you need to also upload it in one platform or in one folder or somewhere, even at least through a mail, through a WhatsApp, it should be sent as a digital information and where it is possible to receive the uh, feedback. So then only we can ensure that all the digital resources we are making is really a e-content. Sometimes we use a word digital resource. Sometimes we use a word e-content. A dono word we use correct as a differentiate karna. So basically, the uh, usually uh, some theoret theoretical persons define it. When you say digital resources, it, it can be without internet. When you say e-content, it should be through a platform where you have sending and receiving. So there is a need for internet to come in. Then you actually call it as electronic content, okay? Uh, e-content in that sense. So that is where we need to be clear. When you are going to develop the digital content, don't stop with these four steps. Always try to put it somewhere so that there is the access to others and people will be able to reflect on the content. So this is the very first point we wanted to keep ourselves up, uh, with a common understanding. Let's move on to the next point of why do we need it, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm just going to use one particular software where we are all going to work. So I'm also going to demonstrate how you can create this. So Padlet is one of the software. This is... Padlet is an online tool. May I request the, okay. So Padlet is one of the tool where you can always join and then you can do a interactive activity. So now we are going to do an interactive activity, which you are going to write your responses in this particular site. So how do we work on? So when you go to Padlet, I'm just logging in. I'm going to log in with my Google account because I have already registered my mail ID in this. So you all can also use this and create your account. So you, if, when you go inside, you can see that there are already some activities which I have already done. So I can actually make a new one. When I want to make it, it will ask you which kind of theme you want. So now what, first of all, I cannot go and select the team until and otherwise I am aware of what I want to do with this. So first of all, I need to understand what is my content? What am I doing, going to do in this particular thing? First, I should think about my content. That's the first thing. So when I think about the content, I'm going to now conduct an activity because we are now in online mode. I'm not able to see each and every one of you. If you are in a face-to-face -face mode, I will be able to talk to each and every one, ask one by one question. But now since we are in an online mode, I'm not able to see everyone. And moreover, there are 158 participants, which is a very huge number to ask one to one. But still, I want to collect response from everyone. So this is my context. Who is my uh, participants here? Who are all SRG trainers here, trainees here is going to be part of this thing. But the context is I am in an online mode. I have 150 participants. So around 150 participants. So these two stops me from doing it face uh, one by one to ask a question. Because when I asked you to type it in the chat box, it was running so much. I couldn't also take the answer and then scroll up and down and see so much. So because of this limitation, I decided to choose the tool which will help me to do it. Okay. Now, what am I going to ask to you? What am I going to ask and what, what is that I'm going to get? It? So when you, when you were thinking to design your digital content, what all parameters you have considered? That is my question. So I wanted to collect the responses of all, all of you in this particular thing. 
So to do that, I'm just checking here. There are multiple things, which there are uh, multiple uh, themes. So what I want you people to write is, I'm going to have two columns, okay? In one column, I'll say two important things that need to be considered while you are going to develop digital content in one column. And in another column, you need to write what are the two things doesn't matter. However, it is no problem when you are going to develop a digital content. So I need two columns first for collecting the information. So I'm seeing this theme. One is the theme where you will be able to put content not in a uh, segregated manner. Whoever is writing the answer, everything will come and um, arrange itself as a brick model. In stream, all your answers will appear one by one. But my idea is I want two columns. What is the necessary parameter? What is the essential parameter? What is the non-essential parameter? While you develop. So that is what I wanted to know. So in that case, when I see that, grid is also not very suitable because all the content will be mixed up. But when I see shelf, shelf is the thing which will take content in a series of columns. So this is something which will be very useful. So I am taking this particular theme. So now I have taken a theme. I have to create an activity. So I have to write my question here. Share two essential and two non-essential attributes. While the for to be considered, while developing digital content. So this is what I wanted you people to share, okay? So all this, there is an option that you can make colors, you can do, there are so many things which you can do. So, but I'm just skipping all this. You can do the things, but very simple things are here. We need to check it out. So if we see here, So when you see here, you can also say like if many people are answering, you can also say like you need a moderator to approve because this will help you to take the safety part. Why? Some children may make mischiefs in your classroom. Some trainees may make mischief. So you can have control over that. And somebody, if they write something wrong in the online manner, some bad words if they are writing. So if you switch on this, it will filter and replace it with an email emoji. So that's how we can see that this content can appear, okay? So all the settings are done now. I'm just moving on to the next now. So the moment I click on next, you can see everything is ready. So it gives me a heading section one. So I want you all to add in the section one as essential attributes, okay? I'm saving the section one. And I'm adding one more session, non-essential attributes. So I'm saving this also. So now I need to ask all of you to add. So how will you add? By clicking this plus, you can type your answers. You have to write two essential attributes, very important thing, which is very must when you have to develop a digital content and two things which is not a real thing. Like even if that is not a problem, then you can, if it is, even if it is not taken care, then also you can develop digital content. What are those two things? Each one of you have to give answer to two answers under each column, okay? So now I'm going to share this with all of you. So when I want to share, now all of you are in, uh, able to access the chat box. So I'm just copying the link and I'm just going to put it in the chat box. Very well. So I have put a link now in the uh, chat box. 
So can you all please click on that and write your answers? You should click on the plus symbol and type your answer. Are you all clear with the instruction? Yeah, I could see around 20 people are typing now. What are the two essential attributes you need to consider while developing parameters? You should write non-essential attributes under non-essential Click by clicking a plus symbol there. Essential should be added under essential. Non-essential should be added under non-essential. I think some of you are getting confused. So content is somebody has written under non-essential. So if you're confused, you can recheck it. Essential, you should write under essential. Non under non-essential, you should write only non-essential. Hardly 20 people are working. So out of 150 participants, only 20 people are active. Others are sleeping. Should we take it like that? All of you should participate. So when you are adding, please add under the right column. Because I am seeing that some of you are adding under both the things, any answer. There is a heading. You have to add the answer under essential attributes. If you have done wrong, please go to this dot, click and delete that and redo it. Delete this if you have done it wrongly. So people have to add under essential only here. When you wanted to write your answer under essential attribute, click here. When you wanted to give the answer for non-essential, click here. So we can go through the answer of others. Those who have completed, con con complete kia. Toda aap bhi aisa scroll karke aap answers check kar sakte kya kya likha tha. Okay. So when we see here, there are so many answers which is coming up, like about uh, essential and non-essential attributes, but some of the things are not clearly uh, written. See, for example, when you say writing script, script is an essential attribute. This is not a non-essential because whenever you develop a digital content, I think on the very first day, you would have learned about process of developing uh, digital content. On that day, you would have understood that that's a very important thing that you, you should know that the script, whatever you're writing, storyboard, what you're writing will be the essential things which will help you to understand what you're developing. So this is not a right answer. So this has to actually come under essential attributes. I mean, software knowledge. While developing digital content, software knowledge is not an essential or essential attribute. Maybe you write a script as a teacher because development of digital content is always a group work. So it is not mandatory that everyone in the team who is developing the content should know have a software knowledge. It is a non-essential attribute. Even if a person doesn't know, a team can be formed and then they can develop. So this is something we need to clearly understand when we are going to develop digital content. 
we need to clearly understand that these are the essential attributes we need to consider for technology integration. One is, first of all, purpose. Whenever you want to use technology, whether it is required is the first question. So, for example, now we are doing this training in an online mode, okay? What is the purpose of doing this training in online mode? Why we can't do it in an offline mode? There is a two possibility. Training is a need. Why we are doing training? Because we, every state is expected to develop digital content. So it is very, very important that everyone should be given an opportunity to develop and everyone should know to develop. So the purpose is there is a need for first training. Second thing is how to do the program, whether we have to do it online, whether we have to do it offline. Now, after even COVID, still things are not 100% settled, number one, and slowly things are recovering. So in that context, we have thought like let it be an online training for this year also, right? So that's a context. And moreover, when we do face-to-face -face training, only 50 people can be occupied in one phase. But during this online training, more people can be called for the training. Otherwise, we call only five people from each state. Now we are able to call 20 people from each state or 10 people from each state. That's a great thing. So there is a reason for why we are going online. So that is where purpose is decided based on various things, right? But for example, you're developing, a, you're decided to develop a digital content. What is the purpose? You decided not to use a chart, physical chart or a flashcard or a model, but you have decided I will use technology in my classroom. So to use technology, I will first develop a digital content. So do digital content, if your content, you are going to teach about Delhi is the capital of New Delhi, sorry, uh, New Delhi is the capital of India. What kind of content has to be developed? Do we first of all need a digital content? Do we need a digital content? Anyone? Do we need a digital content to tell that Delhi is the capital of India? Yes. Okay. Anyone who says no? So many of you say only yes. Francis sir says no. Francis sir, why no? Why you don't need a digital content? Because it's just the basic information. Everybody should know it. Okay, everyone should know it, but you're teaching to a class seven child who has never learned this. Because In that case, do you need it? Uh, I don't think because uh, we are looking at India as a whole and it is quite naturally we, we look at it as a main important knowledge that they are supposed to have. That's a basic knowledge. But if we are having this as a new knowledge in our textbook that this is a capital of the state. This oh. is the capital of the country. Now suppose there is a new state created, then it is required. Sorry, sir? Like telling, suppose there is a new state created hmm. like... Uh, Say, for example, Telangana. Hmm. Till now, nobody knew. Everybody knew that Andhra Pradesh was a big state. Yeah. Now, nobody, very yeah. few people know that Andhra Pradesh was yeah. divided hmm. into two. Hmm. One with Amravati and one is... Okay. So, what hmm. is more important is now to show the difference with the a new situation, we need digital okay. to show the entire country at one time. Because when the information disseminates to the villages, to people to that level, it will take time. So okay. maybe with the help of technology, those type of information is good to, you know, for it to just go explode. But I think so. so there are there are as if you're listening now, there are many misunderstand misconceptions in our mind also, and we have a kind of the, the, like prejudgment that every child knows, and we also sometimes say new things are not known and old things are known. It's really not the truth. Actually, still there are people who do not know what is capital of India. That is why we are teaching to children. So there are things like, so it's not, these are all our perceptions. So many times we go by perception to decide whether we want to use it or not. But that cannot be a parameter. So 
thanks sir for giving an example to discuss about it so the thing is we should not think that i think all the children will know so i don't need it's not like that that is my perception of children knows and doesn't know factually like as per the content whether the children are aware of this content like till class 8 they were never introduced about capital now class 7 i am introducing or maybe till class 4 i never introduced in class 5 i am introducing so this is a new content so may i request everyone to keep your mics on mute please yeah so this is a basic thing when the content is new Madhya Pradesh, Mr. Ashish, please kindly can you keep yourself on mute? Thank you. Host can help me to mute if somebody is opening the mic. So whenever if you whenever you see like first of all we never should go by our perceptions when we wanted to decide integrating technology. So let us go by the fact. The one thing is. whenever you are thinking whether i need to teach see the content understand the content what you are going to teach this is a very simple statement as sir said it's a very simple statement right it's not a very difficult topic very true it's not a very difficult topic but the thing is two things are there you cannot say seedha like this since it's not a very difficult topic i don't need a digital content right we can think about the next parameter content wise it doesn't require a digital content because it's just a line a teacher can directly tell and go or directly write in the board so no need to spend time on creating a digital content so that's one per, one way of deciding but that's not the only parameter based on content nahi chahiye but ab thoda kon ka you, to whom you are teaching abhi socho if this content is going to be taught to a class 3 child right so class 3 child may not have come across this word new delhi the child must have not known the spelling of new delhi in that case you can even simply write on the text on the board new delhi is the capital of india we can simply write on the board but if your class is of 60 students or 45 students there are so many children what you write on the board will not be visible in that case you can go for creating a digital content so it's not just one parameter that helps you to decide yes and no but one by one ek ek parameter leke hum sochna padega based on this do we need it so based on the content i may really not need it but maybe based on the age of the student i may need it somebody has written satinder ji has written that we can use maths atlas globe etc but either se hum ek hi sentence show karna hai it's a singular statement it's a factual statement idhar se kuch show karne ke liye atlas globe nahi chahiye because ye concept nahi hai because you are very clearly written to clear the concept इधर हम एक ही सिंगुलर स्टेटमेंट और फैक्ट बता रहे कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं है आप कॉन्सेप्ट होता है आप कॉन्सेप्ट मींस इट यू हैव टू गिव डेफिनेशन आपका एग्जांपल्स देना है नॉन एग्जांपल्स एग्जाम्पल देना है एसेंशियल एट्रीब्यूट्स आइडेंटिफाई करना है देन ओनली यू कैन कॉल इट एज कॉन्सेप्ट राइट so in this case if my content is just to teach new delhi is the capital of delhi i may not require a digital content until and otherwise my children are the learner are going to be of lower class where they do not know the spelling even if i have decided okay i'll make a digital content what would be my digital content do i need a globe do i need an atlas but hum sabhi bhc learn kiya tha in our bhc we have learned if there is only one single statements to be shown use a flash card if there is connectedly more content to be shown with images use a chart if you want to show the work of it you make a working model right so like this level wise based on your content you, we have learned that we will do the teaching learning material similarly depending on the content even the digital content type should be decided whether i need an infographic whether i need a map whether i need a simple slide presentation because i have to only write new delhi is the capital of india nothing else 
can you show capital it's not possible to show because when you plot new delhi in india it is just like plot, plotting another place in india just by plotting and showing an image you cannot say this is capital so capital cannot be shown by the image but when you are going to tell it's only by text you are connecting what is the relationship between new delhi and india is it is a capital so you are trying to put it into a phrase so that's only a single statement so for showing that only one slide presentation maybe you use powerpoint or you use libro presentation any software but it single text which has been put on a presentation is required but in case your content is you need to teach them that delhi is surrounded by char states okay if we wanted to learn delhi is surrounded by char states kaisa kaisa show kar sakte hain i am from a state of odisha okay i have never traveled about about uh, other than my uh, place maybe i am staying in bhuneshwar a good town it's a it's a main place but i have never traveled outside odisha outside bhuneshwar main mera pura life time bhuneshwar se hi tha in that case if i simply tell delhi is surrounded by by this states it's not clear so you need a picture to show very correctly written we can show picture very good but the thing is when you show picture the measures and all are not correct so the picture what picture you will show whether it's your hand drawn picture the very simple thing is you need to show a picture of a political map not a when we say only map it cannot be only map we need to know what type of map whether it's a geographical map temperature map whether you want to show a political map sir has already written we need to use a political map because political map will have borders which will clearly say these are on the borders of delhi that will make a person more clear in in the understanding about that fact that these are all the neighboring states of delhi right so in that is the way we will decide what digital content should be used based on content based on the learner right when you are using a google map google map is to show you can also use google map but it is not a static map you can use google map keep complete picture and then show but the moment you zoom in you will lose the states so rather the holistic understanding holistic visualization is required so we need to understand kon kon sa picture use karna hai for example if we wanted to teach to the student that delhi is the most polluted country in the in india if you want to teach them some kaisa teach karna hai kon sa digital resource use karna hai it's not enough to use only one map or one thing for example when you want to show pollution if you simply show a video of a place they will say this is which place it may be pollution in some other place how do i believe that it's a delhi so somewhere there is a need for you to create a small video clip that's exactly pollution is happening but when you want to say this is the most polluted yes very correctly said by garima ji we need to show pollution index sabhi states ka comparative index show karna hai right so when you want to show there is some data to be shown aapka digital resource ka type kya hai idhar data aap ek bar diagram leke aur chart leke aap show karna padega so one is like an article on a newspaper sorry sir yes we can also use a article in newspaper which talks about recently schools were closed in delhi because of high pollution so these are some of the current scenarios where you can pick up from newspapers there can be a small video clip recorded in the news which has really taken the real actual pollution scenarios and then you have recorded that could also be used you can also show pie chart very good but the thing is any one alone will not help 
when you wanted to bring the complete understanding of pollution and and delhi being more polluted you need to show a variety of things to strengthen each and everything you need a kind of a data for every child to understand this is the most polluted that means there should be a comparison of state data so that's very important when you wanted to say because delhi is more polluted these are the consequences so there should be some information you could have taken some documentary what has happened in the past what happened in that so you record a documentary or you can take currently a news clips what's happening in delhi currently a newspaper so taking all this you have to make a digital story so that is what we wanted to conclude here is in the first point whenever we wanted to make a digital resource the very important things to keep in mind a purpose do you need a digital technology first of all to decide that you should check based on content based on learner based on context and also we need to say if we decide that yes we need it then the second next point is what type is required so how do you design it so next first we are analyzing to say do i need it when i decide as i need it i also need to i think this image you would have seen initially but i'm reiterating it when i decided i will use a digital content which digital content i will use that has to be decided if anything is not clear in this graph you don't know anything then you can put the word in the chat box i'll explain it otherwise i'll not explain everything if anybody do not know what is it then please put it in the chat box right so e journal ar okay last session i think some of you must have got an exposure to ar vr rich internet application augmented reality simulation theek hai so i could see that some of you are not aware of what it is okay so let me just show you some examples how many of you some of the science team must have heard about the fet but other subject team may not have but fet is a simulation platform which is free of cost and it's a open source anyone can use and this has uh, simulations for different subjects of science and mathematics so let me just show you one sample simulation okay so i'm just going to open a very simple one which is a simulation this is what we call it as a simulation can you see here simulation means there will be a input which will give you a different output you are able to have a simulated environment where you are able to practice for example i'm not having an exp experiment here sorry i'm not having a lab here but it is a simulated what i'm showing on the screen is a simulated lab where it shows as if there is a beaker there is a pipe there is a water this is all a environment created reflecting the real environment okay so this is what is simulations in simulation always there will be a parameter change so you can see it looks like animation
कोई कंटेंट नहीं आ रहा है कनेक्शन Sorry, there is a little bit of issue in the technical part, so I'll continue talking here. But um, like we will see. There is some. Am I audible now? Can anyone confirm? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma ma Sorry, there is a problem. So we are just trying to reset the laptop. By the time I will not stop, so I'll continue uh, because we are already running short of time. So simulation, the way I showed, it is actually it will look like animated content, but there will be an interactive. When I say uh, I change the value of uh, temperature, then the value of the next parameter changes. Like that, there will be a cause and effect which is shown. Those are all simulations. When you see AR content, what they do is taking this particular simulation, they try to put it, argument it on other things. For simple thing, uh, an argumented thing for giving an experience today, what you can all do is when you go back, you, or you have to download it. Uh, AR VR experience, you can have it at your own home. So how to do it? Just install the app. Apka mobile se, um, play store se, you install Sky View Light. Okay. May abhi chat box se type kar denge. Sky View Light. Aap download karke. Okay, I've typed. So this is like a one which you can use it and then gen download it in your mobile. Just open and see in your room itself. If you can do it this in your room in the night, it is very beautiful that it will come. Um, so you can download this particular uh, software and then you can just go in your home and just see around 360 degree in your room. You will see as if you are in the complete uh, sky, like near to the planet and everything. So that's a kind of uh, experience you will get when you are going to use. That's an AR based app, which you can use it in the the thing and uh, just check it out okay and um, uh, monica actually uh, my host i'm not in a host so i'm not able to share the screen if you can help me to uh, get the permission for sharing the screen okay so by the time i get it will continue so there was a question of rich um, web environment so Abhi, you have seen me like using a Padlet. What happened in Padlet is it's a web page. Basically, it's a website where we were actually able to do a lot of work. These are all examples of web rich web environment. Okay. So that is what it was told. One of the type is rich internet applications. That is one type of digital content, which you can see Padlet is one of rich internet applications. So similarly, there are a lot of websites in which you have a lot of work, content you can create and do activities. That is called rich internet application. Some of you were asking what is interactives. So interactive is like a big category. Okay. Under interactive, you have simulations because simulation is also one way of interactive. You are clicking on the cost, then the effect is seen. That is also one type of Simulations is also one type of interactive. I think you would have learned to create content using uh, Lumi. So those are also interactives. It is game-based interactives. So interactive is a but uh, it's a broad umbrella. Kidder actually of the resources say up actually a student which interactions for that. 
you are able to give some input and there is an output on that. That is what we call it as interactive. Abhi me presentation you use kar rahe. So that is also an interactive. Why? Why I'll show you. So for example, this is the app. This is a presentation I'm using. Okay. So what I do is like when I click on this, what I'm doing I'm interacting with the presentation. Can you see? I can click zoom in. When I want to see something important, I'm zooming in. When I don't want to do it, I'm coming up. This is also an interactive. But this is an interactive presentation. So interactive is like a very broad umbrella under which simulation, presentation, game-based application. So all this can come. Okay. So these are some of the content which we can develop. But to decide on the content, we always need to think based on the need of content, whether my content needs an animation, whether my content needs a visual. We need to check that. Then only we need to decide to create a visual or an animation or an interactive. Whatever you're deciding should be decided only if the content demands. Second thing, only if it is suitable for your learner. This I would like to share the story of one of the uh, real incident that has happened after an SRG training. In SRG training, when we did face-to-face, -face, we gave exposure to one AR uh, app, which is called as Animal 2D. In that, if you see, if there will be a picture of an animal. When you scan it, the animal will come, like start moving. It, when you feed that animal, click, uh, click grass, then the cow will uh, chew its mouth and show as if it's eating the grass. And when you click on, um, uh, you want milk, then the cow will give milk. So, and when you want the cow to give a sound, it will give sound. As I actually, there are a lot of things which is added into it. So it is a AR, when you scan an image, a live animal will come up and then, you work, play with that, interact with that animal. So one of the SRG uh, bus teacher, one of the teachers who attended the SRG training was so excited about it. So what he did is after the program is over, we finished on Friday. He went and used it in the classroom in his class one students on Monday itself. He used it in the classroom. Every children enjoyed it. Every child could learn about animals from that. But after two days, one child came back and asked, Sir, a phone Mary Pass Dejie. My grandmother's picture is hanging in the wall. I will scan it so that I can talk to my grandmother. So children come misunderstanding Hogya because class one child cannot differentiate between actual and virtual. So, um, AR, VR content less uh, lower age ka use karne ke time when we are going to use it for younger children, we need to be very careful because this will create a wrong impression in the minds of the children. So, um, students ka age ka upar bhi decide karna hai, kaun sa resource suitable hai. Right? So, that's a very important thing we need to think about. So, ye presentation, jada presentations hai, different types of digital content hai. But up appropriate digital content select karna hai so that pedagogic content integration with technology will be meaningful. Just not that, even if you have decided to go, but I think these are all the things which you have learned. I'm just consolidating it. So you would have learned there are different formats. It's not just the type of digital content, but the format also needs to be decided based on your content. For example, if you are going to teach the content which has happened in the history of India, you Hello, ma'am, you are not audible. Hello, ma'am.
वो तो ठीक है बट हम लोग को एटलीस्ट बताना होगा ऐसा नहीं कि उन लोगों को लगे कि हाँ हो रहा है और फिर नहीं हम लोग यहाँ बैठे रहे इंतजार में एक्चुअल में काफी लोग बाहर भी हो गए हैं लगता है 146 लोग ही दिख रहे हैं अंदर और हाँ लास्ट टाइम है अटेंडेंस दे चुके हैं तो फिर सोच रहे हैं कि क्या करें हम लोग क्लोजिंग टाइम सेशन भी बहुत सेकंड बहुत अच्छा नहीं रहा लेकिन ना दोनों सेशन में टेक्निकल इशू हुए सर इस बार। डिसाइड अपॉन इवन अ वीडियो, वी नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट व्हाट टाइप ऑफ वीडियो। अभी गांधी जी का एक फीचर फोकस करना है वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट अ फॉर्मेट फीचर देन ओनली कंटेंट पेडोगी एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इंटरवेशन विल बी इफेक्ट अब हम रॉन्ग फॉर्मेट चूज कर देंगे देन ऑल्सो इट विल नॉट बी क्लियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं बोला था एक्चुअली ज्यादा डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फॉर्मैट ऑफ video i will create for example let me take this as an example if you are going to teach the content about gandhi ji okay about gandhi gandhi ji there are many things to teach right so um, keep it here so there are many things to teach about gandhi ji okay so one of the thing when we want to tell about gandhi ji is gandhi ji is uh, Uh, one he practiced non violence if you wanted to just talk about that in that case we may need to focus on only one feature of gandhi ji that he was practicing non violence we are not talking about where he was born how did he live what was his occupation that's not all our focus that's all our background content but our focus is only thing gandhi ji was practicing non violence so what we will do when we record such a video is wherever he practice non violence that story alone will be highlighted so that format is called as feature video one particular point but if you want to record the complete life history of gandhi ji complete life history then you will go and do a documentary about gandhi ji right but you wanted to enact it in the thing you wanted to enact yourself like gandhi ji and then record it with other people there are two possibilities one is you just pick up the story as it is an enact you tell that this is how gandhi ji story went so in that case how gandhi ji was wearing dress how gandhi ji was wearing specs everything should have a factual information there should be a reference from where you have taken in that case you are to doing docu drama because you are doing everything based on the document and the information available but sometime you want to say in gandhi ji in 2022 if gandhi ji lived during the time of covid how he would have reacted that's your imaginary story then it is the drama format so what is that you wanted to give aap kya dena hai aapka content hai kya hai content ka upar aap first type डिसाइड करना है टाइप डिसाइड करने के बाद वी ऑल्सो नीड टू डिसाइड विच फॉर्मैट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर डिजिटल कंटेंट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू मेक अ डिसीशन सो दैट योर कंटेंट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड पेडोगोलॉजी इंटरग्रेशन बिकम्स मोर इफेक्टिव इन ठीक है एंड इवन वेन वी आर गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट द टेक्नोलॉजी टू डेवलप द कॉन्टेंट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डेवलप द to select the right tool what is the software you all learn to create mind map did you learn to create mind map yes ma'am yes ma'am we you you software did you you we you okay in this is one of the image which you are seeing here you are able to see an image before uh, in the screen this is one of the image which is created using we you right so we you we is a software which will give you a good output very high resolution output you can have more content but in case you wanted to teach using mind map like for example you want to teach that 
air pollution what is pollution then you wanted to just show there are multiple types of pollution and then you wanted to click and say what is the air pollution then if you show everything in one screen it will not be good for teaching right so i request uh, people to keep yourself on mute right yeah thank you so this is one thing very important that when i wanted to teach using a mind map showing everything at one slide it is not going to be interesting because student will see everything and get confused rather i want to open one by one first i will open air pollution i will open then types of air pollution then i wanted to close it so i want to make it as a dynamic mind map this is now what you are seeing is a static mind map so vue is a good software for creating static mind maps but if you wanted to use a dynamic mind map then you have to choose a right software that could be free mind free mind is helpful for doing dynamic um, mind maps so depending on what you wanted to create you have to choose the right particular software for example if you are going to develop a content on uh, animation you wanted an animation where only images have to be animated in the sense whole image has to move from one place to another then there can be a software but if you want one single image lips have to move hand has to move finger has to be moved then the same thing cannot be for example scratch is a software for developing animation but in scratch it's very difficult to make your movements of fingers lips and all that in that case you need a illustrator to create images you need a complete another software to create so to cre as per the require the content which you are going to develop as per your story you need to choose a correct software while developing content if we are all aware that we are developing open educational resources when we are developing open educational resource if it we need to use it effectively what's our idea we want to use it in the classroom that then only integration of technology pedagogy and content happens not just by creating but if you want to share it it should be a free and open source it will it should be open educational resource when you are creating open educational resource it is always good to use only a free and open source software why because it will not have any watermark it will allow you to share it freely so we need to choose an appropriate tool and we also need to choose an appropriate pedagogy there are different methods you have to use methods are it's applicable based on what type of resource you want to do it for example if you are preparing a video to be a supplementary content teacher is already teaching something in the classroom but then to support that it's an additional resource it will help the supplement part it will supplement whatever teacher has taught then the video is going to only be a supplementary material then the pedagogy the method in which you will prepare you will explain the content has to be decided in case the video you are going to develop cannot be a stand alone it should be able to be used by the teacher while teaching as a complementary resource i am going to like for example now i am using a presentation i am using it as a supplement complement integrated or in which model i am following which which way um, i am using this presentation complement 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 okay because i am speaking something but whatever i am speaking is being supported it's complemented by the image which i am showing by the uh, bulleted point so i am using it as a complementary resource but if i give you a link after this particular session if i give a reading material to you after i have explained all this but now you go and read this will help you to understand what i was explaining i was talking about open educational resource free and open source software if i give a reading material these are the free and open source that becomes your supplementary resource so there is a need because right now since here my role is there the pedagogy is in with me 
So I can change the pedagogy as and when I want. But when the moment it is going to go as a supplement, it is in the self-learning mode. In that case, the pedagogy has to be integrated in what you are preparing. Right? So similarly, the third way is integrated. When you say integrated, you cannot split. You can, uh, it is technology and content is infused, but it cannot be split. It can be split and say, this is technology and this is particularly content. For example, all of you were creating a mind map. In mind map, you can say mind map is a software, right? You gave the content to put it into the software, but you are using the potential of uh, the tool to make the content more reachable. That's an integrated approach, but still you can say, this is my content and this is the software. But when you see infused malware, you cannot split it. For example, I showed you a simulation right now. You cannot split it. You must have come across the software called GeoGebra in mathematics or Stellarium in science or Marble uh, in social sciences. All these softwares are already infused. You cannot split the subject and the tool separately. The tool works because of the subject. The the subject can be explained because of the tool. You cannot split and show it. So there already pedagogy is infused inside the software itself. Here there is a possibility for you to decide how do I apply my pedagogy. So if you don't effectively choose the right way, technology pedagogy content integration cannot be effective. And also there is a need that there should be always a means of blend for making technology pedagogy a success. Just because we have come online, if we have forgotten, for example, I've started the session at four o'clock. If I say like it's an online training, may uh, I don't need to ask a question. I don't need to ask the participants to anything. I keep talking for last one hour. None of you out of 150 people all would have got bored. At least now I know at least 10 people are still awake. At least I could hear some voice. I give some opportunity for you to talk. So there is a need to blend. Online means it's not completely online. We need to also interact. Similarly, we also need to bring various types of resources. Not always video, not always reading material. Bring a blend. We need to bring blend of competencies from subject. Something, some competencies that are direct comes some competencies which will form indirectly all of us are using mobile we never went to the coaching class or anything to learn how to use mobile but we started calling then we learned how to switch on switch off so that's a kind of indirect competency we have learned so whenever we are planning use of technology we need to integrate such kind of competencies during the ICT pedagogy integration children should automatically learn to use technology Though it is not our prior focus, though I'm using technology for teaching of mathematics or learning science or social science, indirect competency should be there for learning the tool, learning the software, learning to use computer effectively. That should be our competency. So that is what we need to have a means of blend so that our ICT pedagogy integration becomes more effective. So I'll just quickly move on. So whenever we are going to tell about we wanted to blend it, this is the way we want to blend it. There is a need for blending the knowledge. We all have content knowledge. We have learned our subjects. We all have pedagogy knowledge. We have done BA, MA, BA or MA or both. But we know the pedagogy because we have done a professional course. But technology is one area we need to know. Education psychology, about the learner, we already know because we have learned educational psychology, how a child grows, how a child is, what kind of uh, attitude they have, aptitude they have, interest they have, all this we have learned in our educational psychology. We know the context because we have learned educational sociology also. Because we know that there are urban and rural areas, there are more connectivity, there is a digital divide, all this we know very well. But only one thing which we need to understand is that technology knowledge as a new factor and how this interacts with each and everything, we need to be very aware of. That is when, when we are able to really practice all these interactions, we will have a technology pedagogy integration effectively. 
then only our development of content lesson plan or actually an online course will be effective and when we are implementing we always should try out in our classroom kuch bhi plan karenge kuch bhi de content develop kar denge try out in the classroom do small research understand whether this is really having an impact and then try to share your experience the last point i would like to tell is when we are evaluating don't evaluate only result very we always do he was not performing when we use it this is the performance no when we use technology we need to know the reaction of children did really children understand will really children like and we also even need to like their interest likingness we need to conduct and the second one learning how the understanding happens sometime output may come but without any process understanding how the learning process is happening we need to understand and how the behavior is getting impact by the use of technology sometime negative impact may also be there we need to be careful about it so this is are the things we need to learn uh, evaluate when we are using technology so while we do it always safety and security is a concern so let me stop here if there is any question let me take last two questions uh, good evening ma'am yes sir hello uh now see many a times uh, we see small kids making uh, i mean using mobile phones and they seems to be as if they are born with com being computer savvy hmm. why like that in that particular case and why do we say that small children below 3 years cannot be taught digital it is not below 3 years sir even i think like we need to think about still uh, higher age we it's not about not using digital below 3 years but how do you use digital for even below 3 years now many of the parents are very happy that um at 6 months old baby is also able to access videos oh they God. are able to see the watch the rhymes by themselves they are able to move the video they are able to scroll through shorts how are they able to do because every human has potential of learning even from the birth but the thing is sir we also know that a child may know how to move but the child may not know how to skip when there is a wrong content oh my god okay that's a very simple thing sir even you do keep scrolling up very simple thing it's my experience also in facebook nowadays there is reels people are very bored of reading anything we only watch reels even in youtube we don't watch now movies we watch shorts a very small clip video it's just in seconds because it gives you a lot of pleasure it gives fulfills your uh, visualized visual uh, thirst so people watch even the full movie is put as glimpse like that only they watch but the moment you start watching shorts you will be tempted to keep scrolling like this and watch the shorts one by one but oh after 10 shorts surely there will be one uh, adult video oof being a adult when i see that immediately even it takes 2 minutes to few seconds for me to understand it is an adult content and you can't stop it it will be on a row you have to skip it so there is a choice with me whether i have to skip or i watch that understanding cannot be there in the children oh my god there are many times children are getting into wrong because without having understanding so technology has possibility people get into wrong friendship on facebook because they do not understand that's where the restriction of age and students come in not because they are not able to do they will do better even in 6 months but there won't be understanding that's all okay. thank you yeah. any other question i have also sir? seen uh, excuse yes, me ma'am ma um i have also seen very younger children the easier concepts or abstract concepts when they are when it's not possible to explain in the class if we show them through the video they can understand it very well and sometimes very younger students can also scroll and search videos for themselves so um, i think children even uh, less than uh, younger than 3 years of age they can also uh, understand they build their understanding up to a certain level so uh, it depends upon the man that that very true what you're saying but there is one factor which i showed in my image as educational psychology 
what did we learn in our psychology that there is a way of learning there is a way of development in a physical body at every age we have learned this in our psychology that in first six months child will be growing more physical the moment we ask the child to sit with mobile in that particular age below three it's not just below three even even if it is at five or six if you start giving mobile the children will stop going to play outside so the physical growth is going to get stopped there there is going to be an addiction which will start at that age which will affect other aspects of growth so it is not just a parameter that what we know and what we don't know every human being can do everything at any age but we have a list right we have to do at this why because there is a psychological factor involved so when we use technology also we need to be careful about it why we tell in the primary classes give more of activities have even when you are using technology don't show powerpoint and do it let them physically do something let them scan it let them play with it let them interact with it that's fine but physical growth should not be stopped or disturbed because of the use of technology psychological growth should not be stopped because of that that's a main concern so we need to take care of all aspects that's the only major uh, underlying point yes ma'am i agree yeah, yeah. thank you so much so we are coming to the end so thanks for uh, very patient listening and interaction thanks to everybody thank you ma'am thank you thank so much ma'am thank you ma'am ma it was really very entertaining and enlightening session thank you ma'am ma thank you very much ma'am god bless thank you ma'am thank you uh, dr angel for this uh, very engaging and uh, enlightening session rather i will say but yes there were certain technical glitches which we could all observe and notice but uh, please take it as a motivation not as a demotivation because we all are whenever we work we make a mistake whenever we use something we face a difficulty so please uh, try to overcome these difficulties in a positive uh, light so that you are not uh, afraid of the technology that it always fails now it's our fourth day and this day we have faced